guys learning with rich here in this video uh, we are going to learn how to add steel columns to our model okay so on our last exercise we have learned how to add grids so this time around let's add steel column so I'm gonna open the exercise that we will be needing the adding steel column exercise so just click that one all right okay so as you can see in this model we don't have steel columns so that is what we are going to do so we have two columns here two types of column we have architectural column and then you also have structural column so the column th that we'll be putting here is uh, structural column okay if you see here on our architecture tab if you click the drop down arrow here so you have two types of columns so you have uh, structural column and architectural column okay or if you go to the structure here so if you click this automatically this is a structural column so there's no option for architectural column so if you want architectural column so you need to go to architecture and then you select here architectural column okay now in our case I'll just go to the structure I select here column the structural column the shortcut is CL it adds a vertical load bearing element to the building model so I'll just click this one out and then after that we are going to check out the type selector here so these are the current column that is available but since what I want is uh, a steel column so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load it okay so there is an option here load family so you click that one and then you will now see here the load family dialog box okay so here there's a column folder here but this is not what we are going to use because the columns that is inside this folder is uh, architectural columns so what we are going to do is we're going to move our slider down and then look for structural columns so just double click that okay and then let's look for the steel okay so just double click the steel okay and then let's look for uh, hello structural section this one so let's try this one out so M H S S hello structural section column so I'll just select this one and then I select your okay okay so once you do that you will see the specify dialog box here specify types dialog box so the type that I will be using here is uh, let's say uh, I only have mm, HSS6. Oops, where's my pointer? All right, so let's explore this one out. So how about okay? So how about this one? Okay, so I'll try this one out. HSS fifty-seven point two by fifty-seven point two by three point two. Okay, so I select that and then I select here. Okay. Okay, so it's now loaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. And then after that, I'm just going to pick here at the intersection of uh, grid A1. So I'm just going to pick. Oh, before I pick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change here from the options bar. I'm going to select height. Okay. When you say depth, that means your column will start at your current level. In our case, level 1. And then it will go down. Okay. Up to top of footing level. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here height. So that means it will start on level 1 on your current level up to the specified level that you want. So in our case, I'm going to specify here roof. So that means uh, level 1 until the roof level. Okay, so I'm going to select that and then I'm just going to pick here on grid day 1. So just pick. There you go. All right, and then I select here modify. Now, as you can see here, uh, you are able to see the thickness of your uh, line weight of your element. 
Okay, so if you want to see a fine line, okay, the fine line without the line weight, so you can use the thin lines tool. Okay, so the shortcut of this is TL. Okay, thin lines. So if I select this one, boom. So that is what will happen. It will show you the finer detail of your elements without the line weight. At least you'll be able to see some clashes if there's a clashes or you will be able to snap easily without the thickness of your element so you can do that you can turn on you can turn off okay so that's our column okay so if i want to see the 3d model of this area of this column so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this steel column so i select that and then there is an option here selection box or you can type bx it isolates selected elements in the current view or the default 3d view so i'm going to select that and then i select here selection box just select that one and boom where are you okay there you go see so there is now our oops you can right click and uh, zoom to fit just in case you lost your model okay and then you can click the section box and then from here you can hold the shift and then you can orbit okay now for this one I can't see clearly here my structural column so what I'm gonna do is I'll change the discipline I changed that to structural and let's see there you go so there's the column okay all right so as you can see it's from uh, level one until the roof level okay so let's go back again to the level one now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a quick way of placing your column on the intersection of your grid so to do that um, i'm going to select again the column here structural column using the type of the column that we have selected earlier and this time around from the multiple option i'm going to select add grids at grid intersection it creates structural columns at the intersections of the selected grid lines okay so i'm going to select this one there you go and then i'm going to use crossing selection so i pick from right to left there you go and then after that automatically revit will place a column at all intersection of your grids you see but later on, we are just going to delete some couple of columns that we do not need. But for now, make sure you select Finish. Select that one. And there you go. And then select Modify to terminate the command or press Escape a couple of times to terminate it. There you have it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to delete some of the columns. So I don't need this column here. So select that and then delete on your keyboard press delete select delete we don't need that for example delete okay what else so let's say i don't need that okay just select then i don't need that select and then delete okay right oh there's a column here in our door so we're just going to tell the architect to move their door Okay, let me turn on the or turn off the thin lines. There you go. So there are now our columns. Okay, in every intersection. So let us try to check out our model in 3D view. So select the 3D view. Okay, and then let's turn off the section box so we can see the whole 3D model. So select that and check. And there you go so it's now turned off so right now it's structural so it's now showing all the structural elements including our column okay so let us try to isolate this column so that we can have a look at it so i'm going to click one of the column right click uh select all instances visible in view and then uh uh, uh isolate now uh, I'll just select this one temporary height isolate uh, element 
What? Didn't isolate. Okay, so let's select that. Isolate category. Okay. <laughs> so it's a structural column. Okay, so how about just go to the visibility graphic overrides? No. Okay, what I want to do is uh, I'm having a mental block. So uh, 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 temporary hide isolate. Okay, so, so let's select our column. Where's our column? This is the column. So let's isolate the category. Oh, I understand now. It's because of the link model. So I'll just hide the link model. So let me just select this again. Reset. Uh, visibility graphic overrides. Edit. Let's go to links. Let's uncheck the architectural. And then let's select here. OK. There you have it. So these are now our code. OK. If you want to know how many columns that we have here, so you can use the window selection like that. And then you now have here 92 items. You can click the drop down. So here we have structural column of 46. Okay. So do not include the analytical column. So we don't need that. So basically that's how you add your column. Okay. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can uh, put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.